guys, bongbong -bong is morning, bongbong. -bong. Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to our channel, Philippine Adventures with Dan and Rochelle. Today is going to be a little different. I am going to interview my beautiful wife, Rochelle, and kind of like how she started and how she's independent. Uh, a lot of people here, uh, a lot of us foreigners, we all, you know, think, oh, the Filipino just wants you for your money, or, you know, that's the rumor going around that, you know, they get a bad reputation. Well, let me tell you, it is so, so not true with this beautiful woman. So, anyway, before I even knew what she did, uh, obviously I was, we met on Filipino Cupid, and I saw how beautiful she was, we met, and everything went perfect from there. Um, I had no idea what her background was, or anything like that, but, I mean, let's face it, a lot of us have beautiful Filipinas, Mine is, I think, the best there is in all the Philippines, but, you know, she's so caring, so loving, uh, so giving, and never, I try to spoil her, and she will not even take anything. I have to, it's, it's a miracle if she'll accept anything from me. But anyway, what, what I, um, how did it all start? When you were very young, you started, and, and she's been always, kind of has her own business, and she started, she, she came from fairly poor, I guess, from way back when, right? Yeah, um, yes, uh, I will tell you my true story. Um, when I was uh, at the early age, you know, um, when I was graduate high school, that's what, um, four years in high school before, when I was 15 years old, I started working already in Manila as a helper. So, i never been in college yet at that time because, um, of course, we didn't have enough money. And my parents is a farmer. So, I am the eldest. Uh, I'm the eldest. So, um, I'm working uh, in Manila as a helper. Three years. So, I come back after three years. So, I have have savings, have a little bit of money, so I go back to the college. So first, um, I started my, we call that business. It's not that really business that time because um, I was just started. Um, they call that uh, a big a piggery, you know, it's uh, here as a farmer here, they call that backyard racing, which is uh, you raise uh, pig the back of your house so that's what I started my own so that was 2004 I started I arrived here in Dumaguete 2004 May 2004 so I was started um, one pig that time it's pregnant uh, pig uh, so how did you get that first pig how did I get? So I was borrow some money in uh, they call that DCCO in Cathedral uh, Dumaguete Cathedral Credit Cooperative in Dumaguete. Um, that was a small building that time. So that's not like 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 now it's big building. So um one of my landlady here in Dumaguete they advised me to uh, she encouraged me to join that stuff, the cooperative. So I, I listened to her. So after one year, I borrowed some money, 20000 So that was, I started that time. I, I bought, when I have a 20000 20, I bought pregnant pig. Uh, it cost 8500 So I keep her, the pig, until she deliver after one month she deliver 16 babies so after after 35 days i dispose all the 16 babies they're all healthy they're all they survive you sold them yeah they sold i sold the babies uh, they call that piglets 
I sold the piglets and one of my buyers that time is a foreigner from uh, Darwin who li they live in Darwin, I think it's my Toby. So that was uh, 2004. So I, that's what I start. So the money that I first I received 32,000 on that piglet. I bought more double. I bought two gilt, like ready to breed animals, pig. Okay, so I bought that two pig uh, that cost 16,000. So the remaining 16,000 of my my uh, the money is I just you know for the feeds for the maintaining you know for for other months okay so that was i'll start my business until i have a piggery we call that piggery it's not backyard racing anymore it's a piggery so i have uh i found the land here in, in bakong uh, it was quite big you said what five thousand like yeah um it's five thousand square meter it's about half hectare half wow. hectare so that was uh, I started my figure so all the money that I saved through the small pigs that I bought in the beginning um, I, I, I say I, I saved that and then I borrow more for another business so aside from the figure I have I have a, a hollow black factory that uh, that was uh, started in 19, uh, no, 20, 29, 20 or 9. 2009. 2009, sorry. So you had a hollow block factory and you had, what, six or seven guys making hollow block for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's about when I met, uh, or not when I met, but that's about when uh, I came into the picture, I guess, and, and started hanging around. And um, I guess we started going places and doing things and... So what happened with that? She was doing quite successful with it, uh, yeah. with all the guys. And uh, but what happened is when we started, I started taking her places, and we'd go places and go out of town, and uh, it ended up they'd start drinking and stealing and selling the product for less. So yeah. I just told her, you know what, babe, just close it down, and we'll figure it out. We'll get by. So anyway, yeah. that's what we did, and then uh, you had chickens, you had goats, a lot of stuff all here. So I have a, aside from I have a figuries, I have a figuries. Um, my sow level is about twenty to twenty five. Sow level is about all the mama. Could you imagine that they deliver in one time five pigs deliver in one time? So that's crazy. So I could not imagine myself now that. Uh, with 60 yeah. or 70 pigs, piglets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that was I was started. And then I have a, I have a, you know, I success. Thank God that I support, I help my, my brother, my sister, my brothers and sister. I help them through the school, through for my business. So, um. And then you, and then you got, what, cows? I have a cows. What, what, aside from the piggery, I have a cow. So. Um, I buy the cows in Malatapay. I, some of I, some of the viewers knows Malatapay, some bonita. I buy cows there many times, and then some guys look at me. Why you keep on buying? I'm the only thing I think the woman buying there instead of the man because I have to be stand. I have to be, you know, double my money because so. it's not easy here in the Magetti. So you'd buy the yeah. you buy the cow for how much? Um, normally I cow. buy the cow like say fifteen thousand, sixteen thousand, and after three months I sold that like fifty, you know, fifty, forty-five, something like that. So wow, I, I, yeah, that's what I did. That's um, good money for compared to what people make here. Yeah. So anyway, after that you. Uh, when I came into the picture, we had uh, Mariposa, and we yeah. still we still do. She still has Mariposa. Yeah. She's a big Brahma. Um, you the can Brahman see cow. some of our previous videos. You've probably seen her. Yeah. Um, anyway, we did. Uh, we had a ba uh, calf, and uh, yeah. I got to name him, so I named him Bong Bong because <laughs> you know why. He's full of this. Yeah. But uh, anyway, um, 
So we ended up selling Bong Bong, right? We got, I don't know, 33 or 35,000 for him. 34,000. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he was big, big <laughs> boy. Uh, <laughs> he was so now, anyway, we have Mariposa. That was uh, well, almost uh, just about a year ago, I guess now. Um, but we have Mariposa still, and she's uh -huh. now had uh, four calves, I think. Yeah. And she's yeah. pregnant now. Hopefully she's uh, gonna deliver the baby for us on coming uh, September, October, yeah, first week October. Hopefully. So she's. Uh, it's quite unusual here the farming. Um, uh, before, you know, Rochelle had a more you know acres or whatever there, but now we're living in a sort of a, a gated community here, a and, and it's it's like a normal house with a yard and everything, and we have this big cow. And we bring her over here and she mows our lawn and yeah. eats the grass and uh, we then at night we take her out and leave her either on the side of the road or uh, we put her in the bush. It's kind of interesting how people uh, raise their cattle here. But anyway, she is pregnant and we're excited about it again. And um, anyway, we just thought we'd uh, give a just a, a quick video of, of how not all Filipinos the, most of them are not lazy anyway, but she's definitely very independent. She's always worked hard. I'm so proud of her. Um, you know, yeah. we're totally uh, equal. There's nobody's uh, stealing from either one of us. We're just very happy. We're so lucky to meet and so in love. Yeah, I'm so lucky with my honey. Yeah. Well, well I'm just as lucky. So anyway, we just wanted to give you a, a different side of, uh, you know, uh, a female farmer or, or cattle or rancher or whatever you want to call them uh, what a farmer <laughs> the farmer girl but anyways you guys uh, thank you for watching our video yeah and don't forget to subscribe like and, and hit that notification hit notification and we will have a bunch more videos coming up here so thank you again for watching and we will see you later thank you bye, bye, -bye. god bless everyone